welcome to the hair I wear for wigs by pattiespearls.com. I'm Lauren and today we are talking all about Aesthetica's newer uh, wig from their front lace line wig collection. This is Aspen. Aspen is about a medium length synthetic wig lace front with all kinds of wave going on. There is a lot of texture and wave in this wig. It's not super curly, but it's gonna be a really great like relaxed wave look. I think it's super pretty. Um, love the color. This color is called Caramel Kiss. So the base color, there's actually, I'll get up close when I have it on, but there are a lot of different colors going on in this wig. I would say the base is more of like a golden brown and then the highlights um, definitely are a light golden blonde. So this is definitely, um, has some warmer undertones. It's not going to be an ashier brown. Um, definitely more of a coppery, whoop, there goes my color, um, of a coppery kind of warm brown with some highlights. Really pretty color. Okay, let's talk about all let's talk about all let's talk all about the cap construction. So like I said, this is part of Aesthetica's lace, I can never say this right, front lace line wig collection, um, which I feel like is an incredibly natural um, front lace right here. You'll see when I put it on, um, it's the same um, lace that I showed you with Bay. It's very thin, very close to the hairline, goes all the way down to the ear tab. So your lace will come all the way down, which will give you just a really, really natural front um, front look. It's it's really natural. They did a really great job, I think, with this lace front. Um, again, just like Bay, it has the open cap with the lightweight wefting, which gives it a really stretchy feel. And then it has this hook closure so you can tighten around the nape to get a really secure fit. It has adjustable ear tabs so you can, you know, push it in and make it really snug right there at the temples. Um, let's talk about how she feels. So she definitely has a much silkier texture than Bay. Um, so because of that texture, I feel like there's a little bit more shine to her, but we'll talk about that once I put her on. Um, let's talk about the length. So the front here is going to be a little bit shorter than Bay was. The bang or that front short layer is 10 and a half inches. From the crown down, it's 12 and a half inches. From the nape down is nine and a half, and she's very lightweight. She's four and a half ounces. Um, also, good to note that the hair in the front lace line, um, right here at the front, it's hand tied, which means it's going to have really great movement and a supernatural look. Okay, I am going to go put Aspen on so you can see how she looks, and I'll be right back. Be screenshot ready because here are all the details on Aspen. Okay, here she is. This is Aspen right out of the box. Um, I did fix her part, which I forgot to mention in the first video. She has a left side monofilament part. So you're gonna have to part her on the left. You're not gonna be able to do a center or a right side part, which is what I have found with most aesthetical wigs. They have a left side monofilament part. Same with Aspen here. Okay, so I did part her and I took a wide tooth comb um, and just gently went through some of these curls just to separate them um, and get some movement going in this piece. And this is her. So right out of the box, I probably would give her a little bit of a de-shining. She seems to be a little shinier um, than some other pieces I have reviewed by Aesthetica. Not horribly shiny, not super wiggy looking. I think it's a really great color and a great texture um, to this hair. It's soft, but it's not super silky. It doesn't have that, you know, like cheap kind of wig feel to it. Um, just soft and silky, and I think it has a great feel and a great texture. The cap size, I feel like it's fitting true to size. I'm an average cap size. Nothing is squeezing. I feel like um, it comes down definitely far enough in the nape area. I can hold my head back and it's not bunching. It's not uncomfortable. Um, the ear tabs are hitting right where they should, right here, um, just above my ear. And I think she is a really fun wig. Now, I would kind of compare this to a John Renault uh, Julianne. Now that is a piece 
that I want to love. I really want to love her. She looks so good on so many ladies, but the curl in her, um, just the curl that she has is a little bit tighter of a curl and I feel like tight curl next to my face just for some reason does not work. So this is kind of the look I was hoping I could have gotten with the Julianne that I, it just didn't quite work out for me. Um, so I am really loving the looseness and kind of just the free flowiness of these waves. Um, I feel like this is what I wanted Julianne to look like for me, but it didn't. So I can really appreciate this curl and this style. I really, really like it. Um, so let's talk about these waves. They are, it's not a defined curl at all. It's more of just this messy kind of beachy wave. And I really think the highlights in this piece really play well with the, um, just the pattern of the wave. I think they did a really great job with that. Another thing I really appreciate about this is the curl pattern on both sides of the face is curling away from the, pa uh, the face. Now I have had pieces where the curl will go in one direction and they'll continue that curl pattern all the way around. So by the time you get to this side of your face, it's curling in and it just doesn't give it a natural look. So it is curling away from the face, which I love, love, love. Good job with that. Um, and I just really like just the messy, fun texture of this piece. Okay, so let's talk about the color. The color is Caramel Kiss, and just like I said in the first part of the video, it is kind of a honey brown, medium brown color, and then it has, actually it has a lot of colors running through it. There's some auburn in there, um, a few different shades of brown, and then those really defined blonde um, highlights running through it. So this is like a great summertime look. I just love the dimension. I think the color is phenomenal. Okay, let's talk about the lace front. Of course, the lace front is um, the thin lace. It starts really high up to or close to the hairline, so you don't have a ton of bulky lace down here on your scalp. You're going to have to blend. Um, now, I would say a downfall of this piece is the knotting right here at the hairline. I feel like the knotting is really, it's kind of harsh, like it's very defined and you can see a lot of the knots. Um, I don't know if you went in and plucked a few of these out and added a little concealer. I think that would definitely help um, kind of blend that into the scalp more, but I feel like um, the knotting, it looks really wiggy. Like if you were to get up close and look, you would be like, hmm, what's up with that girl's hair? Um, you know, it's, it's just kind of a dead giveaway that this is a wig. Now I've pulled out a little bit of my bio hair here just to see if I could get a little bit more natural look um, on the side which I, my natural hair has more of an ashier tone to it, so it's not blending as well with these warmer tones. Um, but I think you would need to do some customization to that part line. Um, now, just a rule of thumb, when you have a lace front like this, you never want to pull directly on the lace or stick your finger up underneath it um, to move it around because that lace is very, very delicate, and if it stretches or you damage it in any way, it's not gonna lay uh, flush to your scalp, and it's not gonna be a natural look. So anytime you need to adjust your lace front wigs, grab some hair and pull on it and readjust. Um, so that is uh, the part line. This is not a rooted piece, so you could definitely go in with some dark eyeshadow or hair powder, give it a little bit of root and make it that much more natural looking. Okay, let's talk about different ways you can play around with this. Now, my favorite way to do a wig is to grab the front here and either do a twist or a braid or just a pullback, and then you can just clip it back with either a bobby pin or a claw clip. So you could do that and just play around with that curl. Um, I think it's really cute to kind of give it a, a tighter look up top and then just let all those curls shine through. So you could do it on either side like this and just get some um, volume up around your face. That would be a fun way to wear it. Um, with the, the knotting, I don't think I would do a straight a straight back look. I think that would just bring even more attention um, to that knotting. So I probably wouldn't pull it um, to the top of my head, but let's see if we were to do, you can do a really low ponytail with this one. There's enough length that you could do that. You could definitely do an ear tuck with some hair left out. So you kind of disguise 
um, that ear tab. So you could do something like that. You could definitely pull it back um, with a claw clip, kind of like this to bring it off your face and just do a low clip and leave out some curls like that. Lots of different ways that you can style this wig. Now, as far as care goes, you definitely um, are gonna want to wet this and kind of reshape those waves every time you wear it. That would just keep them intact and um, just give you a fresh look every time you put it on. I would invest, especially with curly pieces, you want to invest in a product for synthetic hair that's like a detangler. So you can go in and spray this after every wear um, and just lightly go through it with your fingers or your wide tooth comb. Get out all the tangles. Definitely use the detangling spray. Don't pull or anything like that. That is just going to damage the fiber and it's gonna get frizzy. So you definitely don't wanna go through and start pulling on it or um, you know grabbing any knots. So once it's all detangled, you can wet it and then you go in and just kind of reshape the curls with your fingers. Um, there are also products for, um, well, for any type of hair, but it's like a, a styling cream that's a little, it's not sticky, but you definitely can um, get a texturizing look with it. So just get a little bit on your fingers and go in and kind of define those curls. Not too much because you definitely don't want sticky curls, but that would be um, the way I would take care of this to make sure it lasts a long time for you. Um, you can even go in with some of that styling cream um, at the cap and just loosen up some of those fibers and get some volume in it um, and get you a really pretty voluminous look. So two thumbs up for Aspen. I really, really like uh, the looseness of the curl. Like I said, this is kind of what I wanted Juliana to look like for me, but it just didn't quite work out. She's a fabulous wig. She looks good on a lot of girls. Just did not work out for me. So. I was really, really happy with this piece. Okay, let me give you a 360 view of Aspen. All the way around. Definitely a good amount of hair. It's not gonna look too thin in the back. It's not so thick that it's hot or heavy. Just a great, great style. Okay, if you need Aspen in your life, and I think I do, Head over to wigsbypattiespearls.com. The brand is Aesthetica, the style is Aspen, and the color is Caramel Kiss. All right, y'all. I hope you have a great day. Check out more wig reviews on wigsbypattiespearls.com. Um, I've got a lot more pieces I gotta get to, so I will see y'all next time.